Okay, if you've watched the previous video, you know how to uh, link up your Moodle course with your Canvas course so that you can just click a button and all your Moodle grades will go into your Canvas, um, Canvas grades. So I'm going to show you how that process works um, here in this video. So um, I'm just going to show you on my, can I'm on my Canvas physics page, and if I go like um, to the assignments, um, I'll show you a whole bunch. So I'll come down here to the, the uh, yeah, these uh, Jedi training activities. And all of these are eLabs that I actually have in Moodle. So um, I would turn them on in Moodle, and then I would eventually, um, every once in a while, hit the sync uh, button. And then it would actually create the assignment in Canvas. So I didn't actually create these in Canvas. It just created it automatically when I click the button. And I'll just click on one right now, like the eLab 7.3. So all this is is like a placeholder assignment, and it actually generates a little button um, that actually, if a student comes to Canvas and they click on eLab 7.3, they'll see a little button that will actually take them to that Moodle assignment. So um, that button, you don't have to make this button. You don't have to make this assignment. This is all going to get generated. I'm going to show you. Um, how that works here in a second. But if I go back to the assignments, I just want to demonstrate right now that there is no eLab 7.4. Um, I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to sync it and I'm going to show you how that, that'll, all, um, that'll all happen here in a second. That's going to be my example uh, part. If I click on uh, grades, um, you'll also see, if I click on grades, um, and I scroll over, you'll also see that uh, um, the eLab 7.4, got to go clear over here, there's also not an eLab 7.4 in the grades book as well right now. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my uh, physics course in Moodle, and I'm going to click on the eLabs. That's going to take me down here, and you'll notice that I have all these. These are all turned on and published, but this one is hidden from the students, eLab 7.4. So what I want to do is I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to click uh, show and uh, it'll take a little bit of time, but basically that's kind of publishing it um, in Moodle. Okay, so now it's uh, published here in Moodle and um, people can start taking it and getting grades on it and everything like that. Um, and what I could do is at the end of each day or something, I could come up um, up to my physics course and I could click on the gear icon and then I can do a click the sync grades from Moodle to Canvas. So whenever you turn something new on in Moodle, um, it will eventually sync to Canvas once you click this button. If you don't have it turned on, it won't be syncing. Everything else will be syncing every single time. So every day you might want to just come up here and click sync grades from Moodle to Canvas. So if I click on that button, it's going to bring me up to a page that kind of reminds me of everything that, uh, that we had to do to set this up. So it won't do it automatically unless you're a teacher in only one Moodle course. If you're a teacher in only one Moodle course, it'll actually skip this page and it'll go ahead and do it. But if you're a teacher in several different uh, courses, so I'm a teacher in Physics, ID, POE, and CSP, then no matter what page you're on in Moodle, when you click the gear icon and you click the Moodle Sync grades, um, it's going to find all the courses in Moodle that you're a teacher in and give you the option. So you don't have to actually be on the Moodle course that you want to sync. You can be on any one of your courses. Click the little Moodle to sync and it's going to bring you to this page which will show you all your courses that you're wanting to do. So I'm going to uh, sync the physics one, so I'm going to click this button here in a second. But before we do that, let's just look what it says here. So it has the setup directions, and these are all the things you did in the last video. You aligned your Canvas and Moodle courses by entering the Canvas course ID. Um, you entered IDs for every Moodle assignment that you want to sync. The ID can be anything. I do not have anywhere in this directions about the asterisk uh, little trick about giving at least half half point credit. Um, you need to set up your grade categories and weights in PowerSchool and then import in a Canvas and you also need to set them up in your Moodle gradebook. So all that has to be set up. So the sync directions are right here. That's what we're doing right now in this video. 
It says, if you see no course buttons at the top of this page, you need to follow the setup directions above. So if you didn't follow those directions properly in the last video, then you're not going to actually see any course buttons up here, and you need to go and make sure you've, you've done that. But we see course buttons, so we don't have to worry about it. It says, click on the appropriate course button above to sync grades for that course. We're about ready to do that. If successful, you will be redirected to your Canvas gradebook. So when I click on physics, I'm going to be redirected to my uh, Canvas physics gradebook. You may have to refresh the gradebook a few times before all the grades display. So it takes a little while, a couple seconds or so, for things to come in. So you might have to refresh the gradebook when you're there. Um, you can now sync to PowerSchool manually or wait until 1 o'clock a.m. for the automatic sync. So once things are in Canvas, you know, at 1 o'clock in the morning, they're going to sync to PowerSchool automatically, and you can just wait for that. Or if you want to, you can just sync, sync it manually by clicking the button. And you're going to repeat this process anytime you ever want your Moodle grades to go into Canvas. So, so this video is ex explaining not very much. Basically, it's saying click on the Moodle Sync button, click your course, and uh, your grades will go in. So I'm going to click uh, the Physics button, and you're going to see this syncing physics grades to Canvas loading thing. And it, it'll take um, a little time if you are doing like a whole bunch of assignments all at once. I'm just doing like one new assignment, so it's going to be pretty quick. Um, and so it's going to sync my new gradebook and it redirect me to my physics gradebook, as you see. Um, and then somewhere in here, hopefully, um, right there, Elab 7.4 is now in here. It says out of how many points that it was supposed to be um, out of. Um, and it would have it would have their grades in here too. Now no one has done this assignment because I just turned it on. But it, anybody that had completed this assignment, their grades would be in here. Now this doesn't just automatically happen all the time. Whenever you want the grades to sync, you got to go into Moodle, click the gear icon, and click your sync uh, sync button, and then the grades will will come on in. So that's the process. Um, the initial process of setting all your grade books up is you know, the most time consuming thing. Once you've done that, it's going to be really, really easy. Just click the button and uh, whenever you want to sync your grades from Moodle on into Canvas, that part will be nice. And so a lot of you can continue to use the quiz module in Moodle if you'd like. Um, personally, I'm probably going to try to have do everything in Canvas and get that going, even though uh, Canvas still does not do some of the cool things that Moodle does in the quiz module. I'm going to try to um, kind of reinvent my course for this next year, and then hopefully later I'll be able to change it when uh, Canvas starts doing the quiz module a little bit uh, better like Moodle does. So hopefully that uh, makes sense, and hopefully that will help you um, alleviate some of your fears if you are a strong Moodle user and you're wanting to try to start in on Canvas.